it's, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. And most people, um, most people get, you know, they get um scared of the thought of, you know, going to space or going to my, or just going first. Sucks. A lot of people are scared across the street. You know? Why? Is it the unknown? I mean, even if they can see there's no danger across the street. That's uh, I, I it's think the it's, other it, directions they're scared of. It's not what they can see. It's what they can't see. And that's unfortunate, right? Because if you can see the house across the street, you've been there. I mean, you you people out there playing, having a nice time. But what if as soon as I step in that street, a car hits me? It's possible. It's possible. But what we can do, what people forget is, is I mean, don't just walk out blinded. Check your surroundings. But We're both ways. Make a plan. <laughs> make a plan. And that's and that's it, you know. Make a plan and just, you know, not, you know, I think that's it. You know, we've been conditioned. Mm -hmm. Conditioned back to, you know fall in line and if you're not this you're it's not good if you're not thinking this way it's not good if you're right. you know if you're not if you don't believe it this way you know it's not good you know and you're 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 other you're outside of you know of the of the collective and so that's not good it's it's not you know it's not for you you know you can't do you know and then all of these you know thoughts you know that have 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 been perpetuated around us for all of our lives have shown us and told us, or we think have shown us and told us, you can't do this. You can't, you know, think about going further than your environment, you know, further than, you know, those around you. And that's, you know, the, the, the sad thing is I know a lot of people that have mentally stuck themselves right in, you know, and 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 this is all that I get to have in life, you know. And that, you know that that you know nothing more is meant for me. But uh, you know that's one thing about this particular book that was interesting to me. First of all, it introduced me to Peter Diamantis because I never heard of him before then. And what's the name of the book? What's the name of the book again? It's um how to make how I'll send you I'll send you a picture of it. But it's how to make a spaceship. It's how to make a spaceship. Uh, and it's called. How to Make a Spaceship, a band of renegade and epic, a band of renegades, an epic race, and the birth of private space flight. Yeah. <laughs> That's by, what um, that is. Yes. Send me that information. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. This, this is a, you know, and it's, it's an interesting book when you start hearing all the different names, you know, and this is, you know, in recent history, this is not like, you know, you know, this is in our lifetime. This is our, you know, People that are, you know, in our in our near peer group and, 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 and you know, some of them a little bit older than us, but, you know, in our near peer group, some of them are right around our age and so forth. And it's like, I had no idea all this was going on, you know, and it's like, but listening to him, he was inspired because he, he, you know, he was a child when um, he was probably about 10 or 11 when when we first got to the moon. And so he remembers the excitement and the energy of the time. You know, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm like, and that's what inspired him. So when you know you say moonshots, you know, that's what he says all the time. He's got even a podcast, Moonshots. I'm gonna have to send it to you. Um, and that's what he talks about. And it's like, you know, everything he's he's aspiring for, you know, is is you know a big thinking process of you know going, you know, further than further than you know, for pushing the bounds of, of, of our thought and just really actually doing it though, not just thinking about it, but actually putting, you know, action to it mm -hmm. and, you know, inspiring and putting, putting actual infrastructure to, to, um, behind it, you know, like with the X prizes to encourage, you know, people to invest, you know, they started with, you know, a $10 million X prize, even though, you know, most of the, 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 the competitors spent way more than that just to, just to compete in the, in, you know, just to compete in the even, you know, win, but it was to invigorate the space program, you know, into, you know, into the private realm. So fast forward today, now we have, you know, um, you know, Elon Musk with, you know, what I'm saying with, um, you know, SpaceX, and you have um, Blue Origin, um, Jeff Bezos, and you have, you know, um, 
Richard Branson, you know, with um, Virgin uh, Mobile and everything. And it's like, and all of these people actually, you know, are coordinated, you know, one with another and they've overlapped with one another and they've, you know, actually been inspired by one. Another. And I'm like, okay, this is very intriguing. And when I've learned more about all of them and listened to them, I just, just listened to them over the past few years. They tell you, it's not like they're, it's not a mystery, but they've all got different, you know, going to space is not, everybody's not going to space for the same exact reason. And they're not, so they're not, they're not, you know, they're not chasing each other. They're not competing against each other. Actually, right. they're, they're, they're actually, you know, they're, but they're building an infrastructure that's attracting, you know, funding and everything to, because the, the, the thing, and it teaches you a lot about why, <clears throat> why the space program has been so stagnated because the cost is not prohibitive for, you know, you know, and it's hard, it's hard, you know, and so the government, you know, is very, you know, you know, has a, has a, strict rules orientated way of doing things and it's not conducive for throwing a whole lot of money at something that has you know no no proven no yield. value yeah no yield and so you know that's you know the the private industry got had to get um motivated in order to start investing in it and start to really you know you know um put a lot of money behind something that that is going to be more you know just look at spacex you know they're constantly blowing up rockets, but they're trying to, the, the, every time they blow up a rocket, they get closer to, you know, making the perfect rocket. So they, they, they got to blow up a lot of rockets just to right. get to. Right. Just, Failure. Just, just to, I mean, just to get it figured out. And that's the, and that's the key, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's very interesting when I look back, <laughs> you know, I, I'm I sorry. Can you say that again? You got to blow up a lot of rockets. Oh, uh, you, you got to blow up a lot of rockets. <laughs> You gotta blow up a lot of rockets. Let's blow you up know, some rockets. <laughs> that's that, and that's it. We gotta blow up a lot of rockets. We gotta burn a lot of jet fuel. We gotta do, you know, we gotta do a lot of these, you know, trial and error things to um to actually get things going. And this is how this is how things happen. I mean, this is the, literally this is the only way that things get built, and this is the only way that innovation happens. This is the only way that invention happens. No period. I mean, have you seen the movie um The Martian? I was actually I ended up watching it again last night. The older with, movie, uh, the original? No, the um the, the newer one with um Matt Damon in it. Mm -mm, I haven't seen it. Yeah, I have to send you a link. But um I watched it, I watched it again last night. Not because I mean I I watched because I was just like trying to figure out something to watch. And then as I'm trying to watch, I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna be talking about this tomorrow. I'm like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. But the Martian. I mean, it's, and it's it's about it's about you know, um, and it's it, and to be honest with you, it, it's actually a, a foretelling of the near of the near probably first exhibitions to to Mars. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 a it's very well. I mean, the way it's done and everything, it's like it's like it's like it really happened. Like like it, like it, like you can see it today. Today you can you can see it happening. But I mean, they're looking at. At least by 2035, of actually being, you know, getting to Mars. 20, 30, about 2033, 2035, actually getting to Mars, which you that's know. right around the corner. I mean, we were just talking about we never thought we would say or hear or think of 2022. So as you say that, I'm like, in 2035, what are we going to be talking about? Exactly. <laughs> happening. Exactly. Crazy. So, so I mean, we're so we're 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 closer than further. We're actually there. You know, we're actually we're actually Amen. there. We. We have the technology, we have the capabilities, we have, you know, it's, it's, and, and what I was, you know, as I'm like even watching that again last night, what we're going through right now, I may have said this the other day, I don't know, but what we're going through right now is we're going through uh, an evolution of our minds. We're going through an expansion of being able to mentally and emotionally handle, you know, the, 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 the future that we're going into. And that's what it is. It's, 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 it's the mental. It's happening. It's, a, it's happening, and it's like you know the the struggle is you know how 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 we can humanly mentally handle it, you know, just deal with it, you know. Just you know what's just so interesting is that we are so scared to be a part of the change. It's like no, 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 no. That's like you said, that's impossible. That's impossible because we set our own limits, right? You know, like where I said, you know, the skies, don't tell me the sky's the limit, you know, when there's the prints on the moon. 
um, uh -huh. who are, who are, who is someone else to set my limit? Right. But we set limits. No problem. Just, I can't do it. But yet the, these, you and me, I mean, we're the same people that are not, are just so amazed by AI right now, right? Just technology. But it jumped right in, no problem. You know, chat GPT, I'm not going to ask it anything. It's like we don't care once it's already here. We're jumping on and we adapt like that. But the thought of being a part of the change, it's impossible. But the, it, it's just, it's, it's just so let's let's be the change. I want to be a part. I want to be a part of the change. I want to blow up some rockets. I want to have the funding to be able to say we're sending up in three, two. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, and my project man, one of my project courses right now, one of the one of the parts for developing the software is we have to find every every possible way that that program can fail. We don't want to find out once we send eight billionaires to Mars. Oh, there's a max weight. You know what I mean? No, let's find, mm -hmm. let's send, let's blow up a bunch of rockets. Let's make sure that before we send anyone up there, well, we we did the 10 last 10 rockets and they got up there just fine. Well, dude, 15 more. I mean, did you check this, 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 and this? And so but it's like people are scared. They're we're we're so frightened. We're so scared of the unknown. We're so scared of failure. I welcome it. I I would tell anybody. I hit my you know. I used to be like that too, and I I am still scared. But I think that I've gotten to a point in my life where you know I've gotten so conditioned, right? That you know sometimes I think like this lady sitting next to me, could she go through the things that I've gone through or would she fall apart in tears and say, oh my gosh, all this terrible stuff happened. I'm like, it's only two o'clock, you know, <laughs> about the rest of the day. Ain't that the truth? Fuck Ain't, that that the truth. Ain't that the truth? And you know, and it's, 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 it's interesting, you know, we, we you know that conditioning part is very, you know, it's very important to realize and, to, you know, realize it be aware of it and then we have to move past it because that conditioning is real you know we remember mm -hmm. you know we've lived long enough to remember you know a time when every single little minuscule mistake was was you know was was blown up and, and beaten and, and held against you you know in the in the court of life you know just because you know you know you know you know slipped a little bit or or, or knocked something down or knocked something over you know and 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 that that conditioning sticks with us, you know. That conditioning sticks with us, and that was a that was part of that 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 hubris that was so popularized, you know, you know, back in the you know seventies and eighties, you know, and that really you know really mentally did a trick to us, you know. That did a that did a that did a job on us, and it made us it made us you know scared to to try new things and everything, but. You know, now as we've grown, you know, mentally and emotionally, you know, I look at, I look at, you know, our younger ones, I look at, you know, Gen, Gen Zers, and I look at how they mentally have adapted, you know, in a way that they don't, they don't allow, they don't allow their thinking to be compromised. You know, they don't allow their thing to be compromised by anybody, by their parents, by you know any any anybody older, they don't allow their thinking to be compromised. And I and I I noticed it a few years ago. And I'm like, I'm like that's really interesting. And it, it, they're they've got conviction to that, even though they don't have like lived experience. They don't have the lived experience, but they have conviction. And they're gonna you know they're gonna learn. They're gonna grow. And they're gonna you know have some you know you know some 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 re, some awakenings and so forth. But but the level of conviction that they have to, I don't know about this, but I know that I'm not going to listen to what you're saying about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not going to, you know, I don't know about, I don't know how this all works, this thing called life is, but I know I'm not going to listen to you guys <laughs> about this. You know, Wait a and you're the one that's giving me the advice. And, 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 and at first, I'm going to face it, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like you young summer, you know, you know, you know, but I, but I started to understand. I'm like, 
I'm like, you know what? You know, I couldn't have taught it to them no better because I need I need for them to be able to, you know, have that that level of conviction, you know, and I need for them to, you know, to 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 to, to challenge the status quo. To challenge hmm. the status quo, you know, when so when you look at the what's it like the, the Greta Tornbergs, you know, and and you know, you know, the Malalas, you know, that have, you know, you know, become, you know. Nobel Prize winners, you know what I'm saying, for 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 world changing, you know, these young individuals, you know, who are not even, you know, are starting, you know, have standing fervently in conviction in their tweens, you know, <laughs> you know, I mean, and, they, and they, they haven't even lived the experience yet, but they know enough to know that's not right. How, you know, why is that? Is it like a built in common sense? I mean, what separates someone that's only been here for I mean, 18, 15 years from someone that's actual wisdom that's been learned. What's the difference? And one thing, um, there's a few books that, that are very interesting, you know, like um, Generations is a good book. The, um, the, you know, The Fourth Turning, that's a good, you know, these, these give a different, you know, uh, an idea to the mindset, you know, that we go through generationally and so forth. And that we go through these, you know, cycles. And, you know, it's, it, it points it points out some, some really interesting points that make you think, make you think, oh, like, oh, this, you know, the cyclical cycle of generations. I'm like, okay, so I can see, uh, yeah, I can see, I can see my generation, you know, Gen X, I can see why we do what we do. And I can see how we, how we respond and so forth. And so, I'm, I'm you know, it's, it gives some perspective, you know, it's not, you know, not all, because, you know, they can only do so much because, you know, the nobody can tell, you know, when they started writing those books, like in the in the in the late eighties and early nineties, you know, they can prognosticate about about you know what's going on here in the future, but you know we're still we still got to be here in the future to see what the technology is doing and so forth. But with these kids here, you know, they have a more of an insight because they have more availability to in, information. Like we talked about the other day, you know, you know we had you know the Encyclopedia Britannica, you know, what I'm saying was our was our internet, you know, and so but they actually, that's it. You know, I mean, and, 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 and I remember, I remember excitedly, excitedly looking forward to having encyclopedias, you know, but they have, you know, they were born just, I mean, I don't know if you ever really stop to think, but a 21 year old right now has only always lived in this millennium, you know, has mm -hmm. only, has, has only ever lived, you know, after 2000. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, like, what? You know, I mean, so just imagine growing up and the internet is already there before you got here, you know. So growing up in total internet, you have access to information and you've only always had access to information. Right. Oh, my goodness. That's you funny. I have always. a 21-year-old that wants to take me on a date and that just put it all into perspective. All they ever know. All they ever know. You know, and that's that's huge. All they've ever known, you know, is the data. internet, is the is the data, is 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 availability of the data, wow. availability of the information. I mean, so just you know, when we put that into context, it's like, oh yeah. Yeah, I could see, you know, you know, it's a it's a no-brainer, you know, you know, the the moonshot, you know, they're saying now that we'll we'll be putting some more equipment and everything they'll be making another voyage i guess probably about in the next year and a half or so you know or so to the moon again you know getting some you know mobility going back to the moon and so forth and then you know you have you know you have jeff bezos whose whose plan is and check out one of his books his plan his plan is to create you know you know um off earth off world um living spaces you know just you know just you know so you think about like like I don't know if you've ever seen um the movie Elysium or something like that you know it's 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 you know when you look at these different kind of movies I can see kind of where his thought process is going. And then you have Elon Musk who's you know who's looking to get to Mars you know he's looking to you know you know put people on Mars and colonize Mars and so forth. And then you're looking at Richard Branson who's whose whose goal is to you know set up a tourist you know um um conduit of getting people in and out of space you know. You know, just oh, you know, yeah. from a, from a tourism and, and resort aspects, you know. So it's just all these different 
you know, um, ideas, and these are just the ones that we that we are aware of. There are tons of people, no name individuals that you know that you know are mobilizing mass sums of money and putting a lot of research in right now as we speak, developing a lot. I um listened to an interview um some months ago, and I think it was from um this year's um Davos um uh, meeting that they have over in Switzerland or whatever. But one of the um, um, breakouts that they had was talking about, you know, humans and space travel and what we have to physically, you know, things I never thought about, never heard about, you know, but we have to physically condition our, our the human body is not made, you know, to be off of off of Earth, you know, and we're not we're not conditioned. We're not conditioned, you know, physically for extended space travel. And so, and we never think about, you know, physically, physically, we can't just, you know, run up to space and like, like, I'm just going to go to space. Ah, let me go there. Physically, because physiologically, we're not conditioned to be off of, you know, out of Earth's gravity. And so what has to happen, I mean, our diet, our internal organs and everything, I'm like, listen, so I'm like, makes perfect sense. I've never heard it talked about, but it makes perfect sense. And I'm like, okay, I can see, you know, so, you know, medically, you know, as we're going through this evolution and everything, you know, there's there's every aspect blowing up rockets. You know, there's a lot mm -hmm. of rockets got to get blown up, you know, for in order for us to, you know, make these incremental steps, you know, dum, 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 dum. but it's actually happening, though. Know? You know, mm -hmm. it's actually happening. It's not, you know, it's not just in the thought process, not just in somebody's mind, you know, you know, we we're all raised on Star Trek, you know. Yep. I, I tell people this, you know, we're now li we're now living in Star Trek. You know, we're now we're now we're now in the day in the age of Star Trek. And so you know, I gotta, later, next generation, which one are we talking? Uh, all of it. All of it. You know, it's like I mean and I, I so I think when I watch Star Trek now, it's <laughs> it's more of a it's more of a like a more of like a documentary, you know what I'm saying? Like a, like, a, oh. like a documentary. It's like it's like it's like it's not it's not just <laughs> sci-fi anymore. It's not just, you know, like you know, when I watch the one watch Star Wars, and I'm like, it's not like you know, oh, that's just fantasy. You know, well, I mean, it's it's fantasy, but it's it's mm -hmm. but the technology, the technology is is real. The 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 motivation is real. The mm -hmm. the reach is real. And so when we think about, okay, this is really happening. You know, in my office here, I've got you know, I've recently you know, I've got some different maps and so forth. I'm I've got you know, a map of the country, map of the world. Um, map of the state, and I got a map of the solar system. Oh, that's you what I was waiting. I was waiting to hear that. Okay. <laughs> the solar system, so I so and so I can you know in my in my in my little spirit, you know, I can literally see, you know, you know exactly where I'm at on the map, exactly where I'm at in the country, exactly where I'm at in the world, exactly where I'm at in the universe. I mean, or in, or in the solar system, not the whole universe, but the solar system. So I'm not, right. you know. You know, and that's and that's the thing is, is you know, and it's interesting. What what really inspired me a few years ago, me and my wife and um, my sister went down to um, the Creations Museum down there, um, and that that place that place really was very 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 interesting to see them correlate, you know, um, um, the Bible and science in a place. I mean, and just and and it, they just you know put up. And I mean, it's, I'm like, cause I've never, I've never seen, I've never seen the the seamless connection actually made. I mean, you know, in our mind, you know, you know, we pray and we, you know, in the Word and there, you know, we, you know, and we, there's usually a battle between science and 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 the Bible. You know, most people want to fight, you know, fight, but down there at the creations, they meld it all together, and they're like, I'm like, they just put out the history, and they just put out the 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 stats and the facts and what what you know what we you know what's known and what right. and, you know and and the word of God and it, and it's like they had, we went we went into this room and you know you sit back in these seats and you look up and then they have this whole they take you from from Earth all the way to the expanses of the universe and they actually take you so far they take I've never seen that one movie. I've never seen that one program. I've never seen anything that takes you this far into the expanses of the universe and show you how minuscule where we are, you know, located at. And, you know, 
no, mm -hmm. no. The, the the hand of God is, is even more magnificently bigger. And it just shows the whole, I'm like, I'm, you know, wow. I'm excited to go back there just for that again, just for that again. And it's been like five, five years since we went just for that again, because I have not seen it anywhere else. I need to find a video or something. But that, you know, seeing that really gave me a, a, a perspective. And it talks about, you know, this is the size of the, you know, I mean, just it, it's very, it's very well done. It's very, it's very informative. It's very educational, you know, and, and, and it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't placate like, you know, people, you know, like, you know, you know, it doesn't challenge, it doesn't challenge, you know, biblical knowledge. As a matter of fact, it expands biblical knowledge, you know, in, 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 a, in a scientific way. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's just imagine watching Star Trek, right? And them having, you know, um, 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 you know, one thing is it's funny. One thing that they've never had, I, I've never seen, they've never had it on Star Trek, is a chaplain. Or, you know, it's usually on a ship you have a chaplain, you know. Right. But, you know, so just imagine, imagine having, you know, um, on, on, on the Starship Enterprise, you know, having the chaplain and having, having a, you know, having a, you know, a little church room and, uh, you know, and so, I mean, which would, which would make sense, you know, but, but just imagine. They had you know, the infirmary, you, though. They had the infirmary, but no chaplain. Yeah, You're right. Exactly. You know, and I, and I imagine, I imagine, you know, as we start to grow and coordinate and grow and build and, and, and do these different things, you know, and actually create, you know, um, different even content, you know, we start to meld it together, you know, like they did at the creations. And, and we start to actually, you know, stop shying away from, you know, trying to separate, you know, you know, the, the, the scientific, you know, what we do know as man from, you know, from the hand of God. And so, but but looking at it like that, once you see it, and once you're like, oh wow, you know, it just it it opens up the mind. It, you know, let's like say it clears your sinuses, and once you clear your sinuses and start to you know really you know um, think, you know, broader and and see further, you know, we can you know it becomes it becomes real, it becomes real. Mm -hmm. So so you know manifestation. And, it's just real, but here's you know something, and this is something that's very interesting to me. A lot of people have a hard time believing, you know, what's across the street, right? But just just do this as a test. Ask whoever, just pick any random person and ask them, "Is Mars real?" Just ask them, "Is Mars yeah. real?" And and I'm pretty sure they're gonna say, "Yes, Mars is real." Now, because here's the here's the other piece. How do you know no human's ever been there? How do you know Mars is real? Because well, because they say. How do you know Mars is real? No human's ever been there. I mean, ever. I mean, we've seen equipment there, sure, but we, no human's ever been there. But how do you mm -hmm. know it's real? You know, and so, and you know, so, and this is a great, you know, argument. People, you know, want to say, you know, how's God real? Be like, well, how, how's Mars real? You know, how's Mars real? And so, until so we actually go there, I mean, you got people still believe the Earth is flat. You know, that's a that's a, right. a useless argument, but the reality of it is, people still believe it. But mm -hmm. most people, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure you. No matter who you find, that's that's an adult. I mean, matter of fact, anybody, even even children, is Mars real? Yes, it's real. Why is it real? Because you've been conditioned. You've been told it's real. You know. You know. I mean, you can see it in a telescope and see that. Okay, that's what we call Mars. Why do we call it Mars? Mm -hmm. you know, this, 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 this. The Here's the thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. But here in the near future, though, we're going to put boots on the ground. Somebody's going to physically physically go there. You know. Here in the near future, the near future. 30, 33, I'm sorry, 20, 33? I mean, hey, 20, and with this with this acceleration of technology, 2033, 2035, that's right around the corner. That's within, mm -hmm. you know, that's, you know, seven that's years. That's one project. It's, it's one project. So, you know, and, you know, and here's, and there's so many interesting parts about this, Tiff, that, um, I'm excited as as you know we develop these new things and there's here's the thing even just here on planet earth there are still 3 billion or so people that really that still don't have access to internet that we're on right now still 3 billion people are, you know you say billion yeah. or million billion billion oh wow there's billion. 8 billion in the world that's a big chunk there, yeah there's 8 billion people in the world and there's 3 billion people that still don't have access to internet 
there are three billion people that are anticipated to, to, to finally gain access to internet and, and connectivity over the next several years. That's a massive new market mm -hmm. that's going to be emerging. I'm going to tell you, the opportunities, mm -hmm. we have not even tapped into them yet. And the fact of, of you know, having this moonshot, you know, this Mars shot, you know, even, you know, um, 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 ideology is, is necessary now because the reality of it is there, there's a lot of, there's a lot being done already that's going that way. That's already, you know, pushing that. I mean, we're already putting equipment on Mars. You know, we've already, you know, got the rovers up there. We got, you know, we've been putting equipment up there for over 30 something years, you know? So we've got equipment up on Mars, you know? And so it's, it's, it's very imperative for us to start understanding, okay, this is not fiction. This is actually happening. With that being said, what am I doing? What am I, how am I building over here? You know, what am I, you know, I mean, I'm having a hard time trying to convince people that, you know, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. You know, it's just like, you know, I'm having to convince people that, you know, you should drink enough water. You know, I'm having to convince people that, you know, maybe, maybe we, maybe we, maybe we should, you know, try to exercise a little more. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe we should, you know. Which I have you know, noticed you, you've been, you said you're in the gym. I was looking at another video. And so, yeah, you've, you've dropped some drinking the water well, and exercising more. Well, the thing about me, you know, you know, and I've, you know, it's, it's, it's a constant physical struggle, you know, but it's been that for, for a while because I had to get my body kicked into gear and I'm still working to get my body kicked into gear. And I'm, you know, the gym is at home. I got my, my gazelle in the office and I'm constantly, you know, going, I mean, and, and it's a constant, but I've realized about myself, I had to get my body unconditioned from how it had been conditioned, you know, you know, let me see this year, let me see. This year, I've been 18 years without drinking. So, uh, you know, because I was, you know, so I was an alcoholic. Um, 18 years, quit smoking. I was a chronic smoker. I, you know, that was my hobby. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, but then once I quit, you know, quit those and I started eating cake, you know, so then I put on 30, 40 pounds there, you know, and I say, I say cake, cake, ice cream, candy. I started eating all the candy. Right. All the snacks, right? Yeah. Because that you sugar know. replacement from the alcohol loss has got to be there. Five years sober, too, guys. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So, so you get it. I mean, and, and, and as information, I had no idea when I did. I figured I'll quit this. I'm good. I didn't know that. I'm, okay. Well, you, you're, you're, you're going to replace it with this. Oh, <laughs> you know. Right. So, so, so I had my body's gone through a lot, and I'm still. You know, I'm, I'm four years, it's four years on, on plant-based, you know, I quit meat, but all oh. of this stuff, all of this, all of this stuff, all of this stuff is a pro. I mean, I'm still, I'm healthier than I was, but I've still got a, you know, I've still got a lot to do on the health journey. That's why, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't press on people about, you know, well, you should be doing even, I got, I got plenty of work to do here, you know, and then that's, and that's, you know, what God has really been, you know, really working on me mentally. You no, know, James, you gotta start. You gotta, you know, because it, it's a mind thing. It's a mind thing. Mm -hmm. I, I had to realize it's a mind thing. I've had to, you know, I, I have to train my mind on something that I never. My mind has never been trained on. My my mind has never been trained on, you know, being, you know, athletic. Be, you know, having to physically push myself in in an exercise fashion. You know, to to heal and strengthen my body. You know, I figured, you know, mm -hmm. since I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm working. I'm doing all this work. That's exercise. No, no, it's not. It's not even exercise. That's just you know. That's just you know. That's that's Moving sedentary. Yeah, it's, that's sedentary standing. You know, just because you're standing for 20 mm. hours, you know, in in the same area, does not make exercise. You know, that's that's you know that's sedentary standing. You know, you you know that's you know just moving. You just basically you know just putting pressure on your your legs. You know, and it damages my feet. My feet are you know all oh, my feet. My my feet are my biggest issue. Because of so much time being on them, and mm -hmm. you know the fact that they're flat feet. I mean, I, don't, I haven't had an arch since I was, you know, in my early teens. So, you know, my feet have been so severely damaged that the nerve damage that I've dealt with physically affects me mostly there. It affects me all over my body, but it affects me mostly there. And so that, you know, God has used this though to make me have to use my brains over the past few years. You know, because I, I used to just, I used to just put my body in 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 the gap. And I just, I could tolerate everything. Ah, stuff. That eventually, that eventually caught up and about killed me. And 
<laughs> you know, so I've had to start using my brain because my physical body now, I have to listen to my physical body now, you know? And so, and, you know, and what I do on a regular basis, it's, 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 it's a struggle, but I strengthen and strengthen and strengthen. It's like, I can't lose any weight. I can't, because my body has to be reconditioned. You know, everybody back to the conditioning because my body had been conditioned. I used to smoke and drink and eat and got me, you know, stay up all day, you know what I'm saying? Sleep for two hours and go back out and get it, you know, and just go back out, you know, and just, you know, do do whatever I got to do to, you know. Guess what? That, that, you know, guess what? We're not made for that, you know? <laughs> you know, we're not made for that. And, you know, and then, you know, all of these factors, you know, I'm a black man. I've learned since over the past, let me see, 16 years um, doing with my father, you know, um, and, you know, he had a heart bypass back in 07. And after dealing, I learned a lot from going through the process with him. I learned that black men have the highest risk of all the health categories, period. I did not know that at the time. You know, I learned a lot going through the process of seeing what he's had to go through. And then of uh, through the things that I've had to go through myself, you know, um, almost being a death store. And so fast forward to now, you know, when it comes to me physically, I'm still, like I say, I'm I'm healthier than I was. I, I thank God for that. I got to, you know, I got to make sure to continuously clarify that even though I struggle daily, you know, every day I'm like, I can't just go jump up and uh, go, you know, not take me few hours. Stretch a little it's, bit. It's, oh, a lot of bit. <laughs> it's a, it's we got it. I, I got to go through so much now to physically get situated just to be functional. And it's like, okay, my body's still telling me, my body's still trying to tell me, my body's still trying to communicate to me that James, I need you to pay more attention to me. So I'm mentally, my, I'm mentally evolving, you know, okay, Listen to my body. Okay, you know, when we get off here, I got to you know, do some exercise. You know, I got another meeting coming, you know, get some exercise in. You know, the eating part, I've got the eating part. Okay, great. Got that good, you know, good, 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 great. But now I still got no it. No meat? No, yeah, no meat, no meat for four years. And, and you know, and, and, and the thing about it is, though, is, you know, my relationship with food. I had to learn, you know, and this is, you know, I go all over the place. But I had to, I had to learn that I never learned how to eat. You know, I never learned how to eat. So I'm I like take myself, you know, I got to learn how to eat. And I'm still learning how to eat. I'm still trying to figure out how to eat, you know. Do we, my know, do we know how to digest? Because, you know, I wonder if we can take it further, you know, and, you know, no matter, you know, how we eat. Because if you're on a no meat diet, that means you're consuming a lot of carbs. So you just have to get above, you have to get in front of the carbs before it turns. Because carbs breaks down certain sugar, sugar turns to calories, calories. So um, you just have to know how to, you do know how to eat. We just have to know how to digest. The thing though, I had to learn though, I, did, I didn't know how to eat. I never, and I had to look back. I look back, you know, my childhood and my life. I was never, you know, we ate to survive. You know, we were ate to survive. Yeah. You know, and you eat, it, that's it. The kitchen's closed after that. If you don't want it, that's it. <laughs> Eat everything that's on your plate. You know what I'm saying? Eat everything that's on your plate. If it's a, if you, you get it on your plate, you eat everything that's on that Thank plate. God. <laughs> to start with. And you know, and if you get if you get extras, you know, count it all joy. <clears throat> you know. And treats was, you know, I remember a time when, you know, when McDonald's was a was a once or twice a year treat. You know, when mm -hmm. you know, and then we moved into a, we moved into a time in the era where McDonald's is every day. So when you can have it every day, you can have ice cream every day, you can have all of this every day, you know. I, I personally never learned how to eat. And so as I've started to learn and I've learned how to eat over the past several years, bless you, after I've learned how to eat over the past several years, I've, you know, learned my physical body requires different things. And uh, everybody's body requires something different. What my body requires, I'm still learning. And so now I know what my body requires as far as the food. Cool, great. But I still got to get reconditioned. You know, I still got, you know, get the get my muscle mass, you know, back up. I got I got more muscle than most people, but at the same time, I got more weight than most people. You know, I'm a big you know, way more when you start toning and all that. Don't look at the scale so much. I, I was just telling you, I was looking at some of your picture or the videos before, you know, I'm trying to go through you, you, you definitely um 
you've got a hold of it. So yeah, just keep sorry, yeah. everything is all. Yeah, you look <laughs> like you're um you're you're well, you're you're quite um you're on a, a good a good journey. So the muscles is the muscles is good, but it's 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 you know, it's the it's the 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 getting my mind, you know, retrained on, you know, because the way because the way that I think, because my mind, the way that I think is not is not is not the average way of thinking. You know, I'm you know I'm a you know I'm a you know I don't I don't you know I'm a left brain individual. I'm not a right brain individual. I'm a left brain. I'm all left brain. So I'm all you know logical and analytical. You know you know not very creative. I'm not you know I tend I will I really focus you know, very succinctly on what, you know, what I'm doing. I don't think about the new, I don't think about the, and I don't think about the, okay, now, you know, I got to go take care of me. I got to, you know, take care of me. I'm, I'm, you know, I've trained myself to, you know, put myself last for so long that I don't know, you know, and I know more now how to, but I, but I had to realize I had, you know, accountability. I don't know how to put me first physically. You know, I got it because, you know, if if I kick the bucket, and it's been hard on my family seeing me fall. See, when I when I fell, you know, when I fell ill, you know, ten years ago, you know, that was the first time my family saw me fall ill like that, and it was very impactful on them, and and I saw how that affected them mentally and emotionally, you know, and it really it really affected them. It really did. It really affected them. I mean, I know how it affected me. You know, I'm, I'm doing it. But it really affected them because they've never seen me weakened like that, you know. And then, and since then, you know, my body, you know, I've, I've I've never been able to just get back out here and just, you know, go twenty four seven and kill it like I used to and everything, you know. But for me, that's it's it's the it's the mental retraining. So now I have to keep a mental focus on. So are you okay. telling me I need to push us? So we're gonna do some daily. Um, I'll be sending some. So <laughs> today we're gonna do ten this, ten that. We'll do three well, things each day, and then we'll just uh, yeah, I'll, I'll we'll do that. It's and a constant, um, it's a constant process. It's a constant process, and as we and as we grow forward, and that is it, it is real. You know, it has to it has to you know, we have to have the input. In order to, we have to blow up the rockets, and that's what right. we, with me. We gotta blow up rockets. We gotta blow up rockets, and that's just the, that's the fact. That's how we. That's how we make them. That's how we actually progress. We blow up rockets. You know, we blow up okay. rockets physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. You know, what I'm saying everything. You know, we have to blow up rockets. And I'm gonna tell you, the exciting part about it is, especially when you know you got to you know. There's, you know, to get that, you know, to get to to get to, you know, if I if I if I sincerely strive to get to Mars, my grandchildren will be able to go. Amen. Period. You know what I'm saying? Because the reality of it is, the reality of it is, is I may physically never be able to go, but if, if if I intentionally strive to go to Mars, they'll definitely be able to go. You know, when and you know if they choose to, or at least where it's going to be working on the on the on the technology that's going to make sure that you know. They're going to right. be the ones that get there, but I've got to, I've got to, I have to start striving right. that way in order for them to get there, you know, and that's, and that's the, that's the mindset. That's the, the, and it all goes together. Like we described here, you know, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual. But you we might how, take it to the moon though. And we might take a picture of Mars from the moon and say, Hey, <laughs> look, I mean, look how little Earth looks from here. We were just there. So I tell you, when I'm looking at this picture of the solar system in front of me, well, first of all, it's, it starts with the, the sun. The sun is it, the sun is so big. It's really it's really a lot bigger than we than we even mm -hmm. think about. I mean, we're focused on 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 Mars, but the sun. Oh my goodness, I'm looking up at it right now. I mean, the sun is so. Huge. That's like that compared to this. Oh, it's it's it's. I mean, the size of the Earth is minuscule, you know, and 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 the Sun is so massive. It's just like, I mean, it's 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 all it's it's all inspiring, but it it gives it gives. You know, the reality of it is, and that's another thing. Back to the the thing that we saw down in the creations, as big as the Sun is, they showed they showed. I mean, there are, there are stars. That make this our sun look minuscule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, the fact that we even 
And then that give and give that some thought. The fact that we even know that we've even built any technology that's even seen far enough, that's amazing in and of itself. Right. You know, that's amazing in and of itself. So I'm 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 excited, Tiff. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Um we are, you know, we are on the precipice. We're there. We're we're here. We're here. You know, this is happening. You know, this is happening. And that's the that's the way to think about it. And that's the that's the that's how we have to be as we're you know building and developing, cultivating these things. And you know, we're here. So now that we're here, now we get about the business of doing, you know, this this forward thing, you know, future facing and really just, you know, you know, really building these things that are that are, you know, that are built with momentum and not just constantly being held back by, you know, well, we can't, we can't, you know, let's let's forget that. God didn't no, you, just, you just no. gave me goosebumps again. I mean, <laughs> you're right. They already made we're they already did the hard work. They already made the telescope. They already came with all the laws. Um we have the technology. We could probably go in and ask Chat GTP or Chat GPT. How do we? We have it all. We're the generation. Let's go. Let's go. And and we're doing it. We're doing it. You know. And here a little, there a little. Here a little, there a little. Like as you're writing there, as we're doing this, as we're you know recording, as we're you know you know documenting, as we're you know. And that's the that's the, that's the other part. I'm I'm loving that we're documenting this process. You see, do you mind we, if I quote you in my blog? So I wrote here, I mean, you can't see you gotta blow up a lot of rockets, James Montgomery. So, go right ahead, go right ahead. So now, 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 are you still where, where, where can I find you at on the socials? Because I, I haven't been able to see you on the socials. Um, yeah, send me, send me your information on, on, on where you're where you're. Where you're at on the socials because um, absolutely i will definitely do that but yeah slolofficial.org at the bottom um and i have to go in there and clean a lot of stuff because some you know i'm not exactly rated g <laughs> but you can work with me i was raised <laughs> apostolic good. pentecostal so i know <laughs> the word i mean my but my uh, mother would come in here and spank me she's but i mean i know the word genesis exodus because numbers Deuteronomy, joshua judges group for sam is the for kings and king first chronicles Carlos, is me my eastern so i mean i know the bible uh, says that you raise a child up in the way that they should go and when it leaves it should not depart from them so you know you <laughs> I'm a work in progress, but um, I do know the word, but that doesn't mean, you know, I still got to get right before I get left. So, but I'll it's make sure. It's, it's a, a process. process. It's a process. You know, and here's the thing, you know, it's, it's kind of fun, you know, <laughs> I have to remind myself again, you know, I have to remind myself again, you know, had, had you met, had you met the, 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 what, I don't know, depending on who you ask, I guess, had you met the 24 year old version, you know, the 24 year old, today my son is 27. Has you met the 27 year old version of me, even? You know, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting. You know, we, we, you know, this process, this walk, this walk, this walk, this individual walk with God that, that we have, you know, we just have to make sure, you know, that, that, that we're seeking after him, you know, and, and, and everybody's walk's gonna be different. Because everybody's story is going to be, everybody's testimony is going to be different. You know, your testimony is not my testimony. My testimony is not your testimony. And, and it can't be. But as we, as we're, as we're pressing forward though, as we're pressing forward and growing, you know, different things get revealed. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I tell you, I, praise God. I tell I, woo, I'm like this. I, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how God has time for nobody else because I keep him really busy. <laughs> I, I mean, in my mind, I'm like, I'm like, you know, because just keep me on because I'm because I'm, you know, I'm, you know, it's it's kind of funny. I, no matter how nice I think I am, you know, no matter, you know, it's always, you know, what we think about it, you know, depending upon who you ask at any given time. And I'm, I know I'm not a mean person. I'm not a mean person. But at the same time, like my wife, she's like, she, she used to say to me, um, you know, you could become. You, you can be so cold hearted sometimes. And I'm like, I'm not cold hearted. You know, and she's like, you just like your father. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, my father, my father's very matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was, mm -hmm. I mean, he's had multiple. I mean, when I read his autobiography, I mean, you know, he was born in 1937. You know what I'm saying? He's been on a ship across the Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? To Europe. You know what I mean? You know, you know, in the 50s. You know what I'm saying? Explorer. He's <laughs> you an know, explorer. I, I mean, you know, they, you know, that generation looks at things very matter-of-factly 
And, you know, he didn't have me till he was 37. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. He lived. When, exactly. He had, he already had three, three different, you know, three, four different lives before he even had me. You know, my sisters okay, are okay. older. But so he'd already had all these lives. So when he, and I'm, I'm his only son. And he actually raised me a little bit, a lot different, a lot more disciplined and stricter mm -hmm. than, than, than his girls. And so, but I thank him for it though. But it's, it's, it's made me, and I have to, you know, even in recent years look at, okay, this is why I kind of stand out from most people because my father's my father, you know, and that's why I even made a video on my father's son. My father, my, and matter of fact, I got a lot of videos out of him speaking. So you can actually hear him talking. You've got to get you to see like, oh yeah, I get it. You know, but that matter of factness, you know, that matter of factness is is sometimes not very popular, but it's very necessary. And as we're mm -hmm. in cult culturally, it's coming back and it's, 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 it's becoming, you know, more and more, it's coming back into vogue, you know, that matter of factness, that, that, that sincere matter of factness. But it's also, we're also the biggest givers, we're the advocates, we're the ones who defend people, we're the ones who, you know, make sure that, that, that our collective is, is cared for, you know, and and that's very hard to do because, you know, we're in a time, we're in a time where, you know, we still have a lot of issues to deal with, you know, because being, being black, I got to, I got to remind myself to say that because it's important because it's still, it's still an issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it wasn't oh, yeah. an issue, I wouldn't have to Southern say Southern Indiana, Southern Indiana. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's still, it's still an issue. And so it, it, and as long as it, become, you know, continues to be an issue, when I'm looking at, okay, like Mars, I gotta, I gotta focus on getting to Mars. I gotta focus on, you know, breaking these paradigms in order for my grandchildren, you know, for my grandchildren to actually get there. And so, I mean, do you think that space set, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, do you think they're going around saying, "Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Do you want to go?" No, whoever wants to go, whoever wants to put in the sacrifice and the investment, come on. So, I mean, that's really, you know, I mean, we, you guys can accept me and maybe ask how, how, you know, how can I join, you know, or you can keep, you know, not accepting hey. me because either way, we're going to blow up some rockets. <laughs> that's it. So you say, we're going to blow up some rockets and we're going to keep building them and, and, and we're going to push, we're going to push these limits. And, and i tell you what, um, you know, like I say, I'm 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 continually excited, and um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna blow up some rockets, Steph. Well, yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Well, we're gonna wrap for the day, and then um, you know, I'm excited. I'm very excited about what we're doing, and um, and I I tell you, we'll be talking here real soon, real real soon, because time is flying. You know, um, it is definitely. You no, know, let's keep the communication going. Keep you know. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a bunch of links to some of the stuff I've been talking about. So so you you gonna you're gonna have plenty of content to kind of absorb, and then um then we'll go from there. But um you know this is a, this is a great time, and we're heading we're heading for we're heading for the moon. We're gonna we're gonna pull 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 by the moon, and then we're gonna you know shoot off to Mars. Amen. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm serious. Let's do it. Why not? That's what's up. That's what's up. 30, that's what 2035. That's we need that timeline. So we got to get to the moon before then. <laughs> All right, lady. I will talk to you later. All right. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>